Well, compare for us a little bit about what you saw in Russia that was fulfilling at a spiritual level, um, not so flat, and, uh, compared to what you are producing now, and do you feel that you've now lived up to that standard you were striving for? Well, first of all, we're just starting. So when you say what I found so flat, it was just that people, you would go to these, and they were sometimes a little, I mean, it's like a Dostoevsky novel or something, <laughs> or Tolstoy, where you would have people, you see academics in the United States, very often they're very professional, and they will speak in these very uh, technical terms, you know, and uh, but they don't want to talk about the meaning of life or history or spirituality or God or any, you know, just that, that sort of thing. So it was just this level of, of everything is, nothing is off limits to discuss, uh -huh. you know, and uh, it was that, that, that kind of uh, really orient, and, and also just, you just sensed a spiritual hunger. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the way I could describe it. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, what I'm used to, I mean, is people are just, they're very cautious about what they say, they don't want to offend anybody. They're, it's become so prof often so professionalized. And this was just, these people, it's like food and drink. It was something that it was very much more, uh, I can't, basic to, you know, existentially uh, uh, urgent <laughs> questions that really made a difference to how they, how, they, how they lived their lives. So I guess you could say that. And you've mentioned whether we have achieved this, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, we're aiming to do that. Mm -hmm. We're aiming to do that. And uh, one of the ways I've been doing that in my own teaching is just a sort of example of this because I, I, uh, I'm not an administrator who doesn't teach. I think it's very important to always maintain uh, uh, an active role in the classroom mm -hmm. and with, with undergraduates. And so for me, one of the... Um, key elements in our in our center has been uh, the implications and, the, and my teaching the implications of what's called the uh, inside out prison exchange program and I think it's very important for this idea of, of compassion and so uh, and and it's I had no idea that it was going to evolve in, in the way it did so the Inside Out Prison Exchange program is a program that started out uh, to be uh, college courses taught in prison on criminal justice. And the, but the, the, the uh, innovation of this program is what makes it totally different from anything that anybody has done before. And, you know, people have gone on to, into prisons and taught, but what hasn't been done is taking college students and teaching the class in prison to a mix of undergraduates from the, the, from the uh, academic institution and the people who are incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's why it's called Inside Out. And uh, Inside Out started, as, uh, as I mentioned to you, courses on college courses, but on criminal justice. Because people thought, if you're going to deal with criminal justice, this is the place to do it. You know, inside. But my idea, and I think that's great. I thought that was great. But my idea was to teach literature, ethics, things having spiritual dimension mm -hmm. in this program. Not well. I'm, first of all, I'm not trained. As a, that's not my field. I'm not a sociologist. Uh, and so I thought I would do this. So I, I took the training and. Uh, and uh, I started teaching in the prison, and they're the most tra spiritually transformative classes I've, I've ever taught. For both? Everybody. For yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's just, on the surface, crazy when you think about the fact that... So I've taught at... Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, toot my own horn or anything like that, but I, 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 I've come to see this. I've taught at Stanford, at Princeton, at Harvard, at Columbia, and the best classes I've ever taught, hands down, are at the Oregon State Penitentiary <laughs> in this program. Uh -huh. And 
what do the students say, uh, those who are prisoners and those who are in academia? What is it that's so satisfying? Yeah, well, that's what I'm still trying to work out. That's why I think it has to do with compassion. So, mm -hmm. um, I think it, the, 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 the key is that, uh, I think, I don't know whether this was before we actually started speaking, maybe it was, this idea of crossing over, mm -hmm. of, of, our, uh, of crossing, or going beyond your ego, you know, uh, towards the other, the other human being, uh, that uh, I think what, what stands in the way of compassion always is a construction you have of that other person, a mental construction. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that gets in the way of, of your, capa your capability of being compassionate towards the other because you erect in your mind some category. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what happens in this, in this class is uh, it's very democratic, first of all. So you come in and it's, it's in this mode, a circle like mm -hmm. that. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. So you bring these two worlds together. And it's not as if you know, the people who are inside, the people who are outside inhabit different universes. But in fact, their everyday lives are extremely different. Is what happens on the inside, what happens on the outside, the way your day is structured, the kind of attitudes that you're surrounded by are extremely different. Uh, and, uh, and, and the class issue is, is, is huge as well. I'm not talking about social classes, you know, mm -hmm. it's very different. So I think um, the students, uh, the, the inside students, well, let's say, let's say the most ob obvious thing you would think of is, is what would students who have come from rather privileged backgrounds, never stepped inside a prison before, what are the stereotypes they have about people on the inside? So, and they have them. And they're going into a dangerous place. You know, they're going into a maximum security prison. And so they have certain, and then they come in there and they actually engage in, uh, in dialogue. Yeah. And, uh, those stereotypes go out the window. Uh, so that's, that's very freeing and very remarkable. Mm -hmm. uh, criminal, murderer, uh, whatever, whatever. And then on the other side, the uh, inside students, privileged, snotty, college students, you know, judging me because I've done bad things and so on that that in the in the, in the one-to-one -one encounter and we do a lot of face-to-face -face stuff you know which is uh, not the usual thing that happens in, in, a, in an academic class in the university so we do what's called a wagon wheel mm -hmm. uh, w in which you actually have face time you have concentric circles yeah. and people are just facing each other and move around so it's a class in which and this very rarely happens in, cl in classes that students actually get to know each other, they get to interact, mm -hmm. they drew, draw on the full energies. They don't, it's not a question of pleasing the, the teacher and the sort of hierarchical model. And then, uh, and then the classes are about the ethical relation, and they're about not only do we, so we, 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 uh, we think about it, and then we also enact it. And so far it's worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's worked out extremely well. Yeah. I mean, uh, way beyond anything I, I could have imagined. The students are extreme. They just find this a transformative experience. So um, inside out, this experience of inside out. So the name comes from the fact that you have inside students and outside mm -hmm. students. But to me, and this is the link to Buddhism for me, uh, it, it, is that it's, a, uh, it's an emptying. It's an emptying mm -hmm. of the ego towards the other. So, it, 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 and that's where the compassion, I think, comes in. Is this this emptying? And you know, there's a an analogous experience in Christ, Christianity, but also in Judaism. This idea of kenosis, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the emptying out towards the other, of being turned inside out through your responsiveness uh, and that you feel towards the other, and a sense of responsibility for the other. And this goes to this book I just wrote uh, on this philosopher, Emmanuel Levinas, 